CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road where he found a powerful lesson in parenting. Just outside Salt Lake City, 46-year-old Shauna Austin is about to let you in on a secret. I've never talked about it, ever. As we first reported a few months ago, when Shauna was 20 and single, she got pregnant. She says she wasn't ready to be a mom, so she made the difficult decision to place her baby for adoption. Do you remember holding him the first time? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What was that like? He was perfect. And I knew I would have him for a short time. So I made every minute count with him. She called the boy Riley and says she held him for 72 hours straight until the time came to let go. Her Riley was now somebody else's Stephen. And at this point, like with most closed adoptions, a firewall went up between Shauna and Stephen's new parents. No communication whatsoever. And this went on for about a week. It was like, okay, this is the way it should be. She is part of our family. Adoptive parents Jennifer and Chris Schobinger say they had no interest in excluding the birth mother. You know, you can't have too many people loving you, right? Why couldn't he be both of ours? So, year after year, they sent Shauna piles of pictures and these bound books detailing Stephen's every major and minor milestone, like this complete list of his vocabulary. All so that when Shauna was ready and Stephen was ready, they could pick up right where they left off. The two reunited when Stephen was seven. Shauna taught him how to fish, and they have been reeling in the memories ever since. I was blessed beyond words. I kind of got best of both worlds for sure. Stephen is now 26, married with a brand new boy of his own, much to the delight of Grandma Shauna. That was really special. It just brought that full circle around. Especially um, when she heard the baby's name, um, Riley. Oh. Felt like that name was just supposed to be in the family. I think the lesson we learned is that sometimes we create barriers where barriers don't need to be. Mm. And when we pull down those barriers, we really find love on the other side. Since we first told this story, that love on the other side has continued to grow. The family spent Thanksgiving as one and will, of course, be getting together again in the days ahead. A holiday example to help us all live the life of Riley. Oh my gosh, he is so Steve Hartman on the road in Lehigh, Utah.